Though I do want to play on normal difficulty to uh, continue trying to unlock stuff. Have I tried Mitsukuni C? Uh, I do not believe I have. Mitsukuni C is the one with the three different weapons by himself. Yeah. Um, 10 health. Does he start at level 5 too? Or is that 4? So he starts at level 4, I think. Movement of three. Yeah, I think he starts at level four, which is pretty interesting. I have not tried him yet. I kind of wanted to try this girl again, because I feel like she was the one that we had, um... We got to that guy who does his wind-blowing attack and lost there, because I feel like we had a really good build, but just I just kind of misplayed it, I feel like. It's a better Benkai. It's good to see. Well, maybe I'll try him next, Cha Cha Lulu, because he does look pretty cool. But I, I want to try this again because I liked the combination of the uh, the vulnerable plus the uh, plus one damage enemies with status effects. I feel like this has a lot of potential. Um, one of the YouTube viewers, again, Rafael Braga, suggested that I had two really good tanks, but I didn't use them well enough. I guess the issue with that enemy that killed us, that mini boss, was he has really big range and he moves really far. So. I'm not exactly sure how we could have done that better. This guy, this this character, the hunter, having only four health at max level is so strange to me. I don't quite understand how you're supposed to keep him alive when there's AoE damage every other turn. Basically, this guy has four turns of one damage he can survive. So against that enemy, that's essentially, if turn one blows away, essentially until turn seven, uh, he's, that you have to kill the guy by or else you die. But he has a potential for a lot of damage, so if you can close in quickly enough, maybe you can, like, almost one-shot the guy. So I think I'm going to start with this girl, Lady Nijo. I like her. Let's see what it takes to unlock the second one. Play 100 status effects with a weapon across all playthroughs as Lady Nijo. Status effects with a weapon. Party apply status effect to a target already affected by one or more status effects 30 times and won't play through. <laughs> okay, so it's all about status effects. So I need to get like a bleed weapon or something with her. A hundred times. That's crazy. Uh, the immune to wind works against that boss. Oh, okay. So with this team comp, I... If I see immune to wind charm, I need to get it. Which... Assumes we find it and assumes we have enough money to afford it, but we do start with a merchant All right, let's do this. Let's give uh, lady Nijo on normal another try here. I feel like we had a good Chance last time and I blew it with some This plays or bad luck or something You did it in your game today to test it nice. Do I have any tips for Shikibu? That's the other girl um, the one who What is her starting build I'm trying to remember what she starts with? She start with the poet. Learn to love the poet if it's, it's if it's the girl who starts with the poet because poets OP. Learn to use the poet's uh, move twice ability. Super strong, especially with trappers. It's very good with trappers. They can move forward, place a trap, then you do the move again ability. They can move away, so you can like abuse traps with that. Oh god! Immediate earthquake places. Okay. Um, wow, we get very few jumps if we go this way. I could go one, two, three, four, five, but we'd probably get caught that way. One, two, three. Oh, I hate to go through two earthquake places, but this is sector one. If we have to restart, we'll restart. Oh, great. Immediate battle with an earthquake. Great. Uh, we have to win this fight really fast or else we die from earthquakes, so... And if this guy gets attacked once, we die from the Earthquake, so good. You absorb that. Earthquake next round. We're just gonna finish this fight now. Oh, no we're not because he missed. Alright, it's better to miss out on some, some gold and not take an Earthquake. We miss out on a bunch of gold, but we need to not lose health here. 
cat. This guy really like, I want to get his, this skill upgraded first. Because being able to pick up from further away is a huge deal for him. All right. Crazy eruption climbs the volcano. Uh, metal object, strange disc. I'm pretty sure metal objects is Watto. This, I think, could be a charm. Ah, it's a uh, scrolls. All right, it's fine. All right. All right, we do have earthquakes here again, so. Do, 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 do. do this. Which one such shots this guy? Cannot get in range to kill this guy. Have an earthquake next round. Okay. How much health do you have? Five. Okay. Scooby dooby doo. Okay, so she's gonna take one. I want her to take this attack. It's gonna earthquake though, so. Okay. All right. I will be able to pick up all three gold here. Yeah, this guy took half his health, but he only has two health, so not really surprising. All right, good gold gain there at least. Sir No Pants comes to battle again. You can't keep... You can keep the pants off the sir, but you can't keep the battle out of the pants. <laughs> Frickin' Sir No Pants. All right, one more scroll. We can give him two more health and uh, have his ability not be quite so weak. All right, recoiling at the stench. It's so stenchful. Okay. Okay. So I can kill this guy. Four, one, two, three, four, yeah. There. We want to stay out of range of these dudes. Which means right... here. No shoots, no pants, still get service. <laughs> That's his superpower. <laughs> okay, I don't want to do this. Shoot this guy. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Um here we go. You walk here, attack him. This guy shouldn't attack him. He should walk here and attack her. My god, I hope I'm right here. Thank God. Okay. All right. She has one more armor. Good. Okay. And I want to move her here. There. Okay. Pick that stuff up. She kills him. And picks up the gold. Okay. Froren is one of the devs, correct? Yes, Froren is one of the devs, yep. Sent me a really nice message uh, offline the other day about being very thankful for me playing their game and hoping they weren't being too pushy to give advice. I was like, God, advice from the devs? The streamers love advice from the devs, at least I do. So, hey, Pi Boy, gift of the sub to Frora. That's awesome. Like, I love having devs here. It's awesome to get feedback from the devs. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We should be able to get all those. Let's go for it. What's up, Froren? 
<laughs> Welcome to the randoms, whether you want to be a part of the randoms or not. <laughs> All right, let's see. Are you there? We're out of range. Yeah. You guys only do one damage. Okay. So we should be able to one-shot each of these guys and pick up their gold. Scooby dooby doo do 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 Okay This This and pick up the gold bum, 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 bum. Welcome to the generosity of this stream people gifting subs like they're nothing you crazy crazy awesome people appreciate that bye boy super generous of you man I, Pie Boy was streaming this the other day, so Pie Boy was uh, streaming this amazing game and I uh, was watching him a bit. Learning from the Pie Man himself. Yes, Froren is a dev, Shogi. Um, oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to do this quest, am I? Yeah, alright. Sadly, thanks for the free food though. I will take the free food. All right, let's see. Immune to wind. Well, Pie Boy, there it is. But it's also 240 frickin' Watto, so... I'm getting that. Ah, oh, man. Basically, the only thing I'd afford would be to get a farmer. <laughs> Shogi says, I appreciate the courage and valor of Sir No Pants. He's the true hero. <laughs> That's right. He's the true hero. Oh, man. Do I want to... I don't want to get a farmer, but getting an extra unit is so good in this group because... Basically, the one damage becomes three damage with this guy's ability. Hey, what's up, Fuzzy Penguin? How are you doing? Yeah, Pie Boy also streams... Not super often goes through phases, I think, of streaming. Ah, <sighs> do we buy a farmer? I think I'm gonna save my gold. I'm gonna save it. It's just too expensive stuff here. Alright. Must dispose of them quickly. Because we don't have enough time. Scoop boop doop boop scoop. Scoop boop boop scoop. Scoop a doop a scoop. Okay. Alright, so she can afford one more attack. I need this guy to absorb an attack if we can. How do we do this? I think I can get out of this guy's attack range is how we can do this. So. Scoop a dooby doo. He moves two, so he'll be able to get... Here's the furthest he can get. I can actually get outside of both their attack range. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just get, let's just get out of both their range here. There we go. Um... Pie Boy part-time streams. You did an FTL runoff stream to start to feel like it again. You have not really slept since Burger Stream, so you're tired. Pie Boy is more professional stream watcher. <laughs> Pie Boy watches. He's like a professional stream supporter, I swear. He watches all the streams. Watches all the streams. Supports all the streams. Him and him and Shogi both, man. Professional stream supporters. That should be a job description. Professional modders, maybe we should say. You haven't slept since Burger Stream God. You you need to figure out your stream your stream schedule, your sleep schedule, sir. Alright. So uh what upgrade would we want to get next? Probably upgrade her or whatever unit we get next. So 
Eight to give her an extra weapon slot. You sleep when you fall. <laughs> I sleep when I'm dead. Only sleep is for the weak. I sleep when I'm dead. Otherwise, I'd never sleep. Flyboy is basically Batman. I have yet to see how to unlock the concubine, I, don't, I think. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a random fight. Cool. Uh, okay. She could kill this guy. She'd be in range of two dudes. Let's let them come to us. Move you here. Move you here. And you can hang out there. Okay. Rumor is Sir Nopans doesn't sleep either. His courage won't allow him to. <laughs> His courage doesn't leave him time. Ain't nobody got time for sleep. <laughs> Concubine's a good challenge to unlock. I wonder if I can see how to do it. Allies. Two enemies die from bleed on the same turn. 30 HP of healing from shops in one playthrough. Kill enemy with the Fukia, which unlocks Hunter, I guess. Four darkness battles in Kanto or later regions in one playthrough. Oh, four darkness battles. Darkness battles are letting, uh, basically diving, right? Interesting. A couple interesting challenges for that. I have to actually bleed some dudes if I want to do that, I guess. Alright, so I want her to tank this guy. I'll move you here. I'll let you pick up those, and I'll be able to move there and be able to pick up all those next turn. Cool. Is there a pharmacist in the game? Not yet coming in the update after 1.1. Oh! Okay, so a new unit coming in the next update. That's cool. Ukiya is the weapon the hunter has for the hero. It also does weakness. Okay. Okay. Five scrolls. So I need eight for her upgrade. Five would... Let me give you one more movement. I don't probably want to upgrade the merchant anymore, honestly. Well, this uh, this story forces us through double lightning. It's a little scary. I really could use him. So, some crew here. Some units. Can I get in range of this guy? No, I can't. I'm going to get as close as I can, though, even though... It Means we don't get one gold thingy. Do, 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 do. Thankfully, he did not move. Thanks for being dumb. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna kill you with you. That she can move in range to follow this guy wherever he goes. Yeah. So, move you here. You here. We're gonna miss out on his gold. But I think that's worth to preserve her health, so. Six gold kinda sucks to miss out on. But this is a very squishy team, so I need to preserve their health better than I feel like I did last time we played this uh, team comp. Lighting is not the worst. Oh, lightning is not the worst? Yeah. Uh, three Wado for some food. Guess I'll take food. I've had issues with running out of food. Oh, did we just get gypped out of three Wado? I didn't read it, but I think we just got gypped. Actually, lightning could help us here in this fight. Do, 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 do. Alright, this is a very interesting fight that when we, when we did it last time. It's pretty challenging to not take damage. It's 
So with vulnerable, each of them do three. So we actually have exact lethal if I could attack this guy this turn with two people, but I actually can't. So what we're going to do is we're going to soften this guy up first. Then we're going to retreat. He's probably going to move like right here. Which means if I go here and here, we should be able to kill that guy next turn, hopefully. Okay, move there. That works too. Ooh, they're walking up. They're stepping up on this guy. Okay. Let's see if I did the math correctly. I did. If I move here, he would knock her back onto the gold, which we don't want to have happen. So I'm going to move her here. He should walk up either there or there and attack her, which will knock her back. Okay. Now, if I want to get his gold. This guy, okay, um... Can't get his gold this turn. One, two... This guy actually is gonna always be in range, so... Alright, she's gonna absorb this hit then. This will let us get the gold, but it's gonna cost her one health. I think we'll have to say that's okay. <laughs> Don't really have an option. It would have been hitting this guy if we did that. I feel like this guy's health is more precious than hers because at least she has armor. Alright, that cost her one health, I think. One health, but got a bunch of gold for it. Okay. That does allow us to level her up for an extra weapon slot and extra health. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Do I go through extra lightning place? I think we probably do not. We should be able to get all of our nodes over here. Hey, some free food. I'll take it. I would really love to be able to do this event someday. Okay. Okay, um... Dark Twisted Tree, Dark Sin and Blood covers its trunk, circles uneasily, spying a hole. The hole reeks of blood and decay, but it appears there are some coins in the recess. I'm gonna guess this is free hole damage, but let's go for it. A sizable stash. Clean them off the water, she pockets them, walks away from the Twisted Tree a bit richer. Alright, looks like we probably got lucky there that we didn't take damage or something, but I'll take it. Hey, Sightseer! Visit 50 POI locations, points of interest across all playthroughs. Moving to a previously visited location costs zero food. Oh, okay, that's... Okay, well, that's for doing the four darkness things, I guess. Okay. Local craftsmen are renowned for finely honed blades. Seems clear this must be the place. Okay. Ooh, a bleed weapon. I would really like to get this for her. Although, this would apply Snare, which would apply towards her unlock, and it would be a ranged, count towards the ranged weapon thing. But I'd really like the bleed, honestly. It's just like a straight upgrade from this. How much does this sell for? 10. Bleed helps to get the concubine too. Okay, so if we have two people die of bleed at the same time, I think that's how we unlock it. So we're getting this. Question: Is there any reason to keep the Tonto? I don't think there is. It might be worth getting the cure thing as well, honestly. Being able to cure bleed. Very good. This thing to absorb damage could be very good. I don't really want to spend all of my money on multiple weapons this place because we need we need allies. So I think we'll just call it good there. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I'm gonna be here in about six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Weapons are nice, but we need allies. Eh, we need ninjas. No ninjas. Um, organize a bucket train or crash to the front door. Let's see if we can go save somebody. Crash to the front door, Lady Nijo. Lose his health, but we get food. Get okay. four health. That's fine. Okay. Push through the bloodshed. All right. All right. We got a shop here. Okay. Wow, our uh, ally choices have not been good. At least it's a cheaper farmer. I think we get the cheap farmer now. I don't want to get a cheap farmer, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess, here. <laughs> Farmers can do decent damage with this lot, at least. Yeah, exactly. Farmers will actually be pretty good. I'm gonna buy the scrolls. I need um, five to get you one extra move. What is that achievement? It is... Two enemies die from bleed on the same turn. I want to see if I can make that happen. One, two, three. Yeah, we should be able to make that no problem. Double the no pants, double the courage. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, we're not gonna make these guys die from bleed, because they are immune to bleed. Or range. I think I'm gonna allow them to come to us here. Pretty sure if I don't move, we are out of this guy's range, if I'm not mistaken. One, two... Yes, if I stay... Here, I believe I'm out of range. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, him going there is actually really good for us, too. Uh, the noble has, like, a stun thing. Oh, wait, no. That's the... I'm thinking of the noble guard guy, I think. Okay. Okay. One damage. Stay just out of this guy's range. Both of them should attack her. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Uh, oh, the noble refreshes party members attack action be used again like the bow for buffer attacks. That's awesome. Super cool. Alright. I want this to absorb the archer attack, but that probably won't work. But she does have the most health, so... We'll probably go down to three here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get out of this guy's range. Which I don't think I'll be able to do. Okay. All right, all right. That did work, actually. Now the issue is, how do we get this chest without taking a crap ton of damage? Everybody's at three health right now. He's probably going to attack her, yeah. Okay. All right, well, we do get all the loots, but man, this is a painful fight. 69 stuff. All right, we get everything, but ugh, our hero is hurting. We need to get a heal here. 165 Watto. If only we could spend that on heals. 
Oh! There's a double fight. Okay. Uh, we need if we had two of these guys we could possibly make them die both die from bleed. No, we need somebody with two health and somebody with three health that's susceptible to bleed to actually get two to die the same turn. I'd put him in range of that guy. Scooby dooby doo. I want to keep the killies one at a time so we're not taking extra damage. Alright, so she got two armor, she'll absorb this next attack. Explains why the noble is so expensive, yeah. Single uh, unit attack in from range at max level, they buff them plus one damage. Whew, that's really strong. Okay. up this gold next turn. Should attack her. She's got the one armor. Perfect. Do this. Move you out of the way so you can go get all the gold. Yeah, no lost health there. You do enjoy watching this game? Nice. I'm glad. It's fun to play. Oh, I got the weapon that I would have... Oh, gotten for free. Oh my god. I'm dual wielding Jingama! Too bad dual wielding does nothing. My die should be showing up today. Ooh, nice. Um, if it shows up to my door, I will get it. If it shows up in my mailbox, I will get it tomorrow when I get mail from my box. But sweet, I will look forward to that. I ordered some new, um, since my feet have been killing me lately, I ordered some new um, house slippers that have memory foam support. So I have new dice and I'll have new shoes. It'll be great. New house shoes. Oh man, no healing, really? Immune to ambushes. I probably should get immune to ambushes. This this group is so squishy that ambushes destroy us, so I'm gonna take that. New house slippers, that's right. My my old ones, I will show you, are old and falling apart. Let's see the heels coming off. You probably can't see that in there, but. The heels like falling apart in there, and they don't have good support. Maybe that's part of the reason my feet hurt all the time, so. You're gonna go for a nap or something? Kinda wanna play Destiny with Philly and Cure later. Nice, Pyboy. Enjoy your nap, my friend. We'll see you later, sir. Thanks again for the gifted sub. Uh, new region gives food. City location gives food. An extra, uh, an extra delay is not bad. City location. I guess I'll get the food one. Because this is actually going to give us food right now, right? Nice. Yeah, it does. Alright, well, we, we know we don't need two of these, so we can sell one. We get a Shinto priest. Man, we need, like, tankiness or range damage. I don't know how how useful a priest is for this group. Being able to cure stuff is nice though. Man, I was hoping for a soldier or an archer or we had that noble uh noble guardian or noble guard whatever he was that last time. That was really strong. You know we failed it cuz I mean if we have all these low health dudes, we're just going to die to the wind Wind Demon Guy, which is next. I think it's the guy we fight in the next uh, area, if I'm not mistaken.
I almost think it might be just get an extra farmer. Since they're cheap to level up. Swarm him with farmers? Man, that doesn't seem like a good play. <laughs> it doesn't seem strong. It doesn't seem sustainable. I feel like if we don't get a unit, this is like this is like when you're in FTL and your only choices are burst laser one and ion blast and stuff. I think I have to do this, and I think I have to upgrade my farmers. More allies with that vulnerable means more means more damage. Yeah, that's that's why I'm going with the farmer, even though it's I don't think the good long term play. We're gonna need the damage against that guy next next phase, I think, or we're screwed. Okay, we can one shot that guy. <clears throat> scoop a doop a scoop a doop a scoop. Do 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 do. But the doopy do. So you guys should move there. So I should be good to do this, this, and then move him around. Farmer cost 25, might QA well. I don't know what QA means. Use farmer for tanking. Well, it does have a lot of health. You only do one damage, right? Yeah. Mm, bum, bum, scoop, beep, beep, scoop, beep, beep. Mm. Uh, wow, this archer's just running. One, two, three, four, four range, right? So if I don't move any closer, he won't be able to hit any of us. There we go. That's exact damage there. She's got one armor. Oh, might as well is what you said. Okay. Like a free human, if he dies, he dies. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, we won't get this gold with the merchant. But we don't have as much armor to play with, so... We've gotten a lot of good gold. Good wado, so we're... Resource-wise, looking in decent, decent shape. What I want to do is get both my farmers with the extra move. Because not being able to move far enough is a big problem for them. Okay. So we go to the story, and then the next one is going to be the fight with the guy that killed us last time. So... This is a very different uh, route layout than we've seen previously. Um... Uh, so, is white city or is yellow city? Yellow is city and white is point of interest, I believe. So... Wow, I don't have a good way to get this and the story. Without backtracking. Yeah, hmm. Ooh, this layout is not great. Okay, um... Let's go this way, then. And, like, live in the frickin' lightning over here. Rip Hunter again? Possibly. Alright. Uh, one, one attack that applies bleed kills these guys... ...that same turn. So I need, I need a, I need a unit with three health that can accept bleed... ...and one of these guys to get... I, I think it's the concubine unlocked, so... At least no force dive this time, hopefully not. The 
Okay, we're gonna let them come to us for the most part. I'm going to accept this hit to block this way off. Do, do, do. Okay, there. Okay. Okay, you will be in range, unless I go here. Let's do that. Okay, good. I'm gonna accept one farmer damage to do this efficiently. Leave just this guy alive. Actually, I don't even have to accept the farmer damage. I can do this. I reject your farmer damage. Don't you damage my farmer. I should allow him to get the gold next turn. Okay. Yep, we'll get the gold. We shall get the gold. There we go. Give me that gold. All right, so I'm thinking we go down this way and then up and possibly can go back for that that city, maybe. Rush to battle, to battle. I mean, we could do it if we had a swordsman that was not immune to bleed. I just cannot fight non-bleed immune dudes with three health. They just don't exist currently. I do not exist. Do 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 do. But a Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Booski, Scooby Doo. So she'll be able to one shot him on her own because she'll attack and apply a bleed. This will kill cool, that guy. You each have a movement of two, so neither of you are in range. Do, 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 do. So many souls. Yeah. Even the elite souls only have two health. I love this vulnerable thing. I love the way that works. That mechanic is really cool to me. <laughs> All right, I should be able to pick up both the gold from here, right? Yes, perfect. So attack you. Give me the gold. GG. I really do need some stronger units, though. I don't really want to spend all my scrolls on maxing two armors. So we gotta hope we find another unit that I can spend some scrolls to upgrade. Hey, free heal though, that's nice. Can't expect souls to have much health, I guess that's true. Hey, the Taira man. Whoa, okay. All right, this guy has three health. This guy has two health, so... I think we might be able to make this work. I'm targeting this archer and this guy to die from bleed. How can I make that work? You're gonna get attacked by the archer. <sighs> this is gonna be interesting how to make this happen. I only have five turns to...
Can you lose civilians? If you don't save them, I think you just don't complete all the objectives. I've never actually not saved everybody, I don't think. I've never not saved. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take this guy so... If this wasn't, like, sectioned off here... Might be able to do this. Problem is, these two guys are so far away, I don't see a way I can do this, honestly. You probably can't lose angry buff men. What? A range of two on that. I'm just not going to be able to do it. Not this turn anyway. Or not this fight. If it wasn't timed, if we didn't have a damn timed thing, I could possibly do it. Because this is timed, just can't make it happen. Okay, this out him some gold. This was not great. If there, if I had been able to get through here, I think I might have been able to do it there. What happens after timer runs out? The fight ends. So I just didn't have enough time to do all the things I needed to do in that annoying fight there. Okay. Interesting. Okay, my sound just messed up. With this guy, maybe we could do it. The problem is he does... He heals. And he does two damage. I feel like we need to get another source of bleed or something to really make this happen. Two range, so... He can move there. Hit there, so I should be safe to move here. Can a tree bleed? Yes, it doesn't show any uh, immunity to bleed. My head's in the way, you can't see that. Let me move my head. There'd be a little immunity thing right on this part. Like uh, the skeletons have. Wondering, I'm wondering, wondering, wondering if I can make this work. I set the bleed on him, and he doesn't run. Wait, did the bleed go away? Oh, bleed only lasts for one turn? Really? I thought bleed lasted forever. Oh, did, or can he heal it? I think he can heal it. I don't think it's going to work against this guy then. Damn it. Actually, if I attack you, you'll need to heal yourself. Because he heals, I don't think I can make this work. Damn it, man. Keep feeling like we almost have the opportunity to do it. Yeah, he's gonna heal. Because the because the heal, I can't make it happen. All right, well, so I can't make it happen. Um.
I'll have you die from the bleed. Attack you. There. And then get the gold. I'm not gonna get all the gold because you're gonna die in the middle and we miss out 14 gold. Oh man. Wow, actually I lost health there. Okay. This is really hard to make happen. Which is why it's a challenge, I guess. I'm gonna guess that the story, second part of the story is gonna be here. Oh, it's actually there. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like we could go back around this way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I think actually backtracking once gets us the most. Uh, good jumps here that aren't through, or good nodes here that aren't through the lightning. What am I trying to make happen? This right here. Hemorrhage. Have two enemies die from bleed on the same turn. That's what I'm trying to make happen. So I basically need two units that can be bled at two different health levels that can't be healed in a fight. That I can apply bleed to one and then the other and time it correctly. That's what I'm trying to make happen. That's what I'm attempting to do. And so far, I feel like I've had one fight where I could have done it if it hadn't been a timed fight. But it was a damn timed fight, so I couldn't do it. Alright, stack begins to move. Open it. Yeah. Alright. Re-damage. Search the cart. Alright, some ammo. Not bad. Staying just ahead of this thing. Take a weapon, huh? What do we got? Alright, applies vulnerable. It's a ranged weapon. That's nice. That will actually do... four damage if I do it after this guy. So two sources of vulnerable could be very nice. Okay. There's a bandit we could get. Doesn't really help us that well with uh, the boss we're about to fight, I don't think. There's vulnerable stack with bleed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, every um, as long as a unit is not immune to a certain status effect, they all stack, as far as I know. Five range, three range. I could get this bow weapon because I feel like it's better than the Fukuyama or the Fukia. Although Fukia, that's a uh, that's an achievement. Kill an enemy with the Fukia. I need to kill somebody with that, and we unlock something. I think we unlock the hunter if we do that. So I don't want to sell that. Uh, yeah, nice price, sixty nine, baby. Okay. I think we just got to get a bandit. Not the best unit choices we've had this time. Cheap, cheap prices though. Plus one range, I like a lot actually. This guy's range is only four. That makes his range five, this makes his four. I'm going to get this Hawkeye. Because I have two range attacks, and if I get a single archer, this will be super helpful too, I think. And then we're going to upgrade this guy. How much can I upgrade him? I could max him out. Which would give him an extra armor, health, and attack. Do I want to spend all my scrolls on that? I think I do. He's going to basically be our secondary tank for now. Max out the merchant, lol, Kappa. Okay. All right, here it is. Ah, it's not... Okay, I was confused. It's not that guy. It's not the one I thought it was. All right, so... We're going to see if we can make good use of traps here. Okay. 
Last time we did this fight, we were able to use use traps pretty well to make this fight go better. He's immune to... Oh, he's actually immune... He's not immune to immobilize. Okay. So we might really be able to make this work. Well, if I can get him to come down this way. Great. So... And I want to finish him with her Fukia, if I can, to get the kill. So he does two damage and knock back. Okay. So he will be immobilized. Now here's a question. Does vulnerable count for a does does vulnerable stay through their turn? I ask because if he goes in the trap that should do three damage, will it do four? So he should come here. Attack, and then I think I can kite him through the traps if he attacks there. Place the trap there, and he could walk there, though. Okay, we'll see how this goes. So what I'm curious is, if Vulnerable lasts on the enemy turn, he should take four from this trap rather than three. Oh, he's really stupid. Perfect. He's max stupidity. Perfect. He only took three, so apparently Vulnerable does not work through turns, which I kind of don't like that. I believe if I keep doing this, he's going to keep trying to come for her and get trapped. Let's hope I'm right and he doesn't go up this way. Nice! <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get the kill with the Fukia, because that should unlock, I think it's the Hunter for other people. If I do that... This does two damage with Vulnerable to do three... Four, actually, so if I do this... Bam! Alright, Hunter unlocked. Cool. Awesome. And a damageless fight. Very nice. 31 gold from that. Beautiful. Very nice. Fukia is expensive when it comes to uh, uh, ammo usage. Well, even if we lose in the next, I think it's the next quest thing, story thing, which is, I guess, maybe in the next area. That's where we got to worry about the, um, the bird man who killed us last time. Well executed. Thank you, Froren. Does this mean you can now get hunters at the stores? Yes. Well... I don't know if it does for this playthrough, but for future ones, it will. We've unlocked him to be in the stores, I believe. You know what we need? We need a, um elite Doratabo in the same fight that we're fighting a regular Doratabo. That's what we need to, to get the concubine unlocked. Okay. Scoop a doop a scoop. All right, stay just out of range of these guys. All right, we are out of range of all of them. Perfect. Oh, I should have moved him over here to start getting in place to pick up gold. That was a mistake. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. Scoop a doop a scoop a doop 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 a if these guys weren't immune to bleed, I could get 
get the quest done that way, but... Or the achievement unlocked that way. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, we got a lot of gold to get, so... We need to... We're gonna... Be... Tanking this guy for a while. I did not mean to do that. I picked up, I was like, what am I gonna do with this guy? I totally mis misplayed that. Okay, we got multiple turns to kill this guy, it's fine. Gotta pick up all the gold. Don't mind me, just, you know, slowly killing you. Attack you for one. Behind you there. I guess so this guy can't run anywhere. Okay, so one turn, he'll attack her. So next turn, if I kill him in that spot and I move to there, I should be able to reach that and that, but I won't be able to reach this. Let's go ahead and do this now. I move you away, you away, and you away. He should attack this guy. Perfect. And that should reach both of them. There we go. Okay, nice. Even more reason to play on easy first to unlock stuff so that you aren't handicapped later. Yeah. But I mean, you can unlock them on normal difficulty. So, like, like I just did. Easy difficulty is a lot easier than normal, of course, but I, I it just... When I get to end game on easy, it feels the same every time because I just get that six damage bow and kill him. It's 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 easy. It's it seems like less of a challenge. So the jump from easy to normal is really big. So I'm trying to get better at the game so that um, I can succeed on normal. So that's why I'm playing on normal because it's a challenge and easy is not super challenging. Do I go through the rain twice? Do I go through the rain at all? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go here and then through those two places, I guess. All right, we mean no harm. They left their packs. I'll take free food. I will always take free food. I wonder if I can go one, two, three, four, five there and then around. How... I think they come from this direction, so... I think we might be able to do that. But I have a lot of ways to change our route here to get a bunch of the jumps, so let's go this way. Okay. Strange choking sound. So that's like a wolf who's like choking on something. Um... Yeah, let's follow the noise. And we pity the animal. And alright, we got a heal and some free gold. Nice. Very nice. I don't know if that's always the same on that event or not. Alright, 202 gold. What do we got? More more bandits. And I'm really hoping I'm really hoping to find like an archer. Archer, I feel like with our ways to apply vulnerable is gonna be super good. Okay, since I got the kill with the Fukia, I think I want to sell this and actually get the Muruki Yumi. It uses less ammo and it has better range. It's going to have insane range with the Hawkeye that we have. And I feel like we'll be very good for some of the upcoming fights. So I think I am going to do that. Sure foot it is. Immune to mobilize a snare. Check if there's immune to... No, there's no the immune to win thing. Could replace a farmer with another bandit. I just don't want to spend more. I've already bought three units. We've gotten zero free units this this game so far, which sucks. So let's just buy the scrolls and twelve scrolls. 
Could max this guy to give him one extra move. Feels like such a waste, though. Could just give her more health and armor. If I wait for one more scroll, I think I might do that. Or see if we get another unit that's... Not these crappy units. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can get at least eight. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, maybe even more. Okay, two battle. Here we go. Three and two. Okay. All right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this thing. How are we gonna do it? I need to clear out one of these sides here. This guy, we need to apply bleed one turn, and then we need to apply bleed to another guy the turn after. So it needs to be these two guys. If I just walk up and apply bleed here, and then I do it the next turn, I might take some damage, but I think that's the way we guarantee we do this. So I apply bleed to him one turn, he bleeds out in two turns, and apply him bleed the next turn, he'll be the following turn, so... Let's see if we can do this. Come on, come on, come on, let's make it happen. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Orange Jesus, don't fail me now. He's gonna take one damage here. Okay. Beautiful. That does it, baby. Woo! All right. Awesome. <laughs> two farmers or two floating burning heads of doom. Who would win? <laughs> As that's an important question. It really is an important question to ask. Um, she'll take two hits if I move her forward to attack him, so we'll do this. Bam! Hemorrhage achievement! We unlocked the concubine while they're still attacking us at, at the same time. Concubine. So she gets one armor at level three. Uh, she'll have three movement at level two with... Three damage and a bleed. Holy crap. She gets up to four damage at, and a bleed at max level? Holy crap. Well, we're GG cookie time in this run, even if we don't win at all here. Because, uh, that's awesome. I want to get out of range of this guy, so we're going to take damage. And also, I want to pick up all the gold. We're gonna move this guy forward because he's gonna tank it. Huzzah! Huzzah! We have a freaking concubine, man. Reading online, she's kind of squishy as a downside. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so if I move here, we should attack that guy, and then I'll be able to kill him next turn and get both gold thingies. Okay. We're so afraid of you, bro, with your tongue stuck out at us. You're so scary. Beautiful. All right. Wow. Yeah, ah, that's right. We did take... We only took... Only one damage with her was actually definitely worth unlocking a new unit. That's awesome. Super cool. Okay. All right. Uh, 17 scrolls. Let's upgrade you. Give you an extra armor and extra health. Okay. Four armor for you now. Uh, coins in the bowl, I think, can give you a heal. Yeah, I think so. Nice. So three, three Watto for 
a whole bunch of heals really nice. Face down the papers. Hey, free free scrolls. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And we could possibly go six, seven if we want to. Let's do that. Absolutely worth. That's right. Unknown weapon. Well, we tried this once. We tried this once and we got gypped. So ignore. I'm guessing that's like a 50 50 or something actually getting a good weapon. Or it's an always a. You lose. I don't know. Okay. Here. Do 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 school. Do do do. Alright, he'll get attacked by that guy. That's okay. He's got his two armor. She will kill him with a bleed. She'll absorb that attack. How many more um Ranged weapon kills do I have to get? 200 attacks with an ammo weapon. 131, so I need 69 more ranged weapon attacks. Maybe I can make that happen today. Sixty-nine kills, nice. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Oh, you have five health. Um. Let's see here. Get blasted. Nice. Vulnerable plus two damage, and this thing means it's a four damage hit instead of a two damage hit. Super cool. Face around this guy. Get these two gold thingies. This will kill you. Head down here. Beautiful. <laughs> That'll pick up those guys. So any attack will kill this guy. So let's not kill him yet. So we can get into range to pick up the gold next turn. Uh, and I'm going to conserve ammo. Our goal is to end this run with zero ammo. Using an ammo weapon as a Main source of damage so we can maximize use maximize our ammo usage but also maximize our ammo weapon usage for the uh unlock. Okay. Alright. Twelve scrolls. Her next upgrade gives her another weapon slot and health, which is at 18. I get extra damage on these two characters if I want to do it. It's only three, so that's six scrolls total. It's probably worth doing because we do need more damage, so... If we do get another unit soon, we'll be getting rid of the uh, merchant. He's the, he has the least combat power. Oh god, it's Bleed Girl. Okay, uh, I think we can one-shot her, though. Yes, and we can even get the kill. There we go. Beautiful. And then bleed you, we'll kill you. Kill you. Nice, good turn one. Good frickin' turn one. The ping on turn start makes you think I'm in a Japanese fighting game as the start of a round. Fight! <laughs> this is basically Street Fighter. Scooby Dooby Doo. 
bum 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 scooby dooby scooby dooby. <laughs> so this guy and this guy, we're just gonna kite around a bit while we get get all the gold. There. Round one. Fight. Okay. Is Mitsukuni based on a, off of a real person? I'm pretty sure all the leaders in this game are based off of real people. Yeah, Froen says all the leaders are historical Japanese figures from the period. That's super cool. This is this is basically a history lesson. <laughs> it's totally not a video game where we're wasting our lives doing stuff that doesn't matter. This is real history, people. We are learning about the Meiji era. I don't know. I don't know what the actual era is, but I just remember Meiji from... Uh, my favorite anime is Rurouni Kenshin. And I think that happens in the Meiji era, or they talk about the Meiji era all the time or something like that. Okay. You're sly like that, making you learn history while having fun. That's right. Mobilize and stare immunity. Uh, uh, snare immunity. So I could... I could replace the merchant with the Shinto priest. This is really cheap here. Faster than cherry blossoms, yes, F... F-T-C-B. <laughs> uh, Shinto priest. Be able to cure bleeds. Fires. Is it enough? Do we have enough damage in our group? I feel like our damage is pretty good. I think it is time to get rid of the merchant. Shinto priest has some pretty good support value. Okay, and I need nine to be able to heal from the merchant uh, from the uh, status effect thing. All right, do I want to swap out the bleed for the three damage attack thing? Since we got the um, the achievement, I think we just go for extra damage. And we got to be now if we if we go with this, got to be very careful of. Resource usage. This is so cheap and it's a really good weapon. I'm gonna buy it. I don't know that I'm gonna equip it yet though. Cause if I if I upgrade her one more time, we'll actually have a slot for it and we can have a choice of weapons. Buy a food here. Okay. Call that good, I think. All right, praying on villagers at a time like this is wrong. Oh god, it's double fire dudes. All right, good thing I got this guy. I think I can one-shot one of these guys, though. Uh, your range is five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I move you here, I can hit all these guys. Okay. your range or just at a range it would have to be my two ranged weapons which do I think exact lethal to one of these guys yeah that should be four nice get blasted okay uh, you do two damage you'll do one plus fire so that'll be all of her armor down next turn, but she'll absorb the attacks. Small chance he attacks this guy instead. Let's move there. Move you here. We're gonna have to get rid of the fire that this guy will put on her next turn. Hey, what's up, Lusser? How are you doing, my friend? Can you have two, char two charms at the same time, the same, same type at the same time? Uh, if you read this, do you see it says does not stack? 
that should answer your question. I'm pretty sure there's no two, at least none of the none of the charms I've seen so far have not said do not stack. Pretty much everything has said do not stack. So I don't think any of them do. You finish out your winning with every combo normal ex exiled on Covenant 25 Monster Train. You only need one more combo, but still rolled random, random, and got a first try. Wow, Scott Free, congrats, my friend. Ooh, nice. He actually went into the trap. Like a dumbass. Cool. I can just kill you, right? Yes. You do two damage, actually, so I can do that. Oh, what did I just get? Harvest time. Kill a bleeding target with a farmer. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Whoa, Nightgami. Look at that. Four damage AoE cost five key per attack. <laughs> Hit three enemies with a single Honkyu attack. Uh, I think I've only recently unlocked the uh, Honkyu. Where is that? Or have I unlocked the hunk you yet? I think I have. What does this leader do? Uh, her special thing is any uh, any enemy who has a status effect uh, receives one extra damage from every attack. You haven't had the chance to read the descriptions? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, feel free to ask questions. I know this is a game that's new to a lot of people because it's basically a new game, so... Feel free to ha ask those questions. Heal that. We even got a dev in chat. So, well. When, uh... We occasionally have a dev in chat. Froren's been here, so... We got, we got the inside scoop if we need it. One, two, three, four. We probably don't get the shop if I go one, two, three. So let's just go one, two... All right, I often offer to attack and they never want that. I give them weapons and guidance. I don't think I've ever done this one. Let me try this one. Thanks, an old man offers some combat assistance to the party. Nijo laughs and the old man moves with the swiftness to someone half his age, toppling her. Everyone laughs, the party's eager to learn more. I got nothing for that? Shouldn't, if he's gonna give me experience, shouldn't that be scrolls? Slaver scum. Man, all right, well. We offer them training, we get stuff for it. We give them actual ammo, and they're like, Haha, we're better than you. And walk away. Wonderful. Well, that was a frickin' jip. Frickin' slaver scum. Man, just nothing but farmers. What is with these shops having only farmers all the time? I'll buy one food. One. One food. Guess farmers equals humans in FTL, airlock at the first chance. Um, yeah, farmers are merchants. The merchants are pretty worthless in battle themselves. So you go first. So if I do this, this. She moves first. She should move there, because she thinks she can attack him. Let's do that. She thinks she can attack him. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you're so ridiculous. Think you can actually attack him. <laughs> Alright, no archers here. Bam! Get wrecked by my superior tactics. AI person who's not a real person. Oh, but you, okay, that was a misplay. I didn't think we were in range there. Uh, can we disarm Birdman? Yeah, I think, I think Froren's right that they're immune to that. Okay. They're gonna be in range. And we're gonna let you take one damage, I guess, too. Oh, that was an actual heal. That shop was literally, I'm farming farmers, yeah. <laughs> I 
Um, okay, you have armor, so we'll let you tank that before killing you so we can get the gold. If you were an archer, maybe I wouldn't have done that, but... You say farmers equals ghosts. Ghosts are even worse in terms of fighting. Um, well, if we're gonna do that comparison, Lussor, I would say merchants are the ghosts, because merchants have less health and less attack than farmers. So... But they have utility in that they don't have to breathe in FTL. And in this, they pick up gold is their utility. I don't know. All right, this is the one that killed us last time. Okay, one shot our... Our hunter. So... If we could get... If we could get the um, charm that makes us immune to wind... Or give us, an, give us an extra armor. Those are the two things I'd like to find, if possible. If I can find either of those, maybe we have a better shot. You didn't know merchants had merchants have less HP. I guess you didn't get to watch much of this. Yeah. Although, the people with the least amount of HP, I'm pretty sure even at max level, I think are, at least from what I've seen, are these hunter. This hunter is max level, and he has three health and one armor. Squishy as fuh. So, two damage, three damage, two damage. Okay. I can get rid of the fire. I think we one shot this guy. I believe we can do that. So, I need to figure out the order here because I need this person. Okay, yeah, we're gonna one shot him. Hmm, nobody else can reach you, right? No. Okay. Alright, so we gotta kill you with this. He's gonna take one damage from the burning. I should have upgraded this guy. He would be able to heal that one damage if I'd done the upgrade. He's gonna attack her, and that's why I, want. I don't want him to do two damage to you, so... Here, there. Okay. Okay. Bum, ba -da -doo -bee -doo. All right, you'll be able to kill him. And you walk up, make him bleed, make him bleed. Okay, we'll kill him next turn. Should be able to get all the gold. Whoa, what do we get? Old trusty. Attack with a normal weapon 500 times across all playthroughs. Nice. Ooh, Weapons Master. Normal weapons deal plus one damage. That's super nice. Cool. I didn't even realize I was doing that. I love I love that we just randomly unlock stuff while we just play the game. I love games that do that well. You just play the game and you unlock stuff. Farmers can be meat shields, just high maintenance. Their only good thing is their high HP. Need some mass healing or something to make them great, you suppose? Shinju Priest, more like walking Sheku. Shaku, I don't know what that is. Alright. Should have done this before. But now that we do this... Now we heal when we get rid of bleed or fire or whatever, so... Alright. I was trying to think save up for the extra weapon slot here, but we'll do that next, so... Five more scrolls and we can get her... Next level with the weapon slot. Okay. Alright, this would be scary if we weren't able to kite these out, which we're going to be able to kite out this fight pretty well, I think. Except that you can heal. Uh, hmm. She'll do four damage. Who do I want to kill first? This guy is the highest damage, but he's also the least mobile. 
Actually, they're all only... They all have very crappy mobility. Okay. And we don't need to... Force this or anything. So, let's kill them one at a time here. And make them walk through our traps. We're gonna activate our trap cards here. Well, this guy's picking them off at a distance. Okay. Do, do, do. If I move you here to attack this guy, you'll take damage from him. So I will use one thing to keep that from happening. So he should walk on to that. Do I allow him to take the two damage to force him to walk onto that trap? Um, I think I won't because he'll get healed from the damage anyway. This lets me do that. Scoo doo 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 doo. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see how we want to do this. Trying to take no damage here if I can make that happen. So, if I move you here to kill him, he should move down to attack her. Means if I do this and this, if he walks on that, he dies. Which should be what he does, because the AI is dumb, which we take advantage of. Use our superior non computer intellect to kill you. Give him further incentive. Look at all these juicy targets over here. Nice. Okay, now if I can do this without using any more resources, that would be great, so... <laughs> uh, you like the way he uses the bandit. Who, me? Or... Somebody else. <laughs> you talking about me? Because I can read that. I can see what you said. Okay. I like the way I use the bandit, too. <laughs> uh, let's see. You can reach that. Can you reach that? Yes, you can. There. I think I missed out on one gold here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nine gold, I guess. Cool. All right, so do we do one extra jump for the stop stop shop or do I go one two three four? Actually, can I go one two three four five six seven eight nine? 10 11 12. I don't know if we have that many jumps honestly. We're gonna go here and then decide Well, actually we're gonna go here first because if we are we're gonna go around this way. I need to see the pursuit Place traps everywhere and then go for quick kills. Very enjoyable. <laughs> so you're saying you think I'm using them crappily, huh? Well, I don't know. Worked out. There's the, the, um, what I will say is the maps aren't huge, so it makes running away not super, not always seem like the best option. Expensive shop. Knockback and vulnerable immunity, plus one movement, immune to bleed and burning. Damn, the two things I was looking for are not here. Those, and those two things were armor for everybody, immunity to wind. Fleet footed is the, probably the best thing here. And uh, we'd have to sell a bunch of stuff to get it. 
because it's an expensive store. You need to knock back and vulnerable. Yeah, I don't like any of those. You're really liking my playstyle. Okay. I, I still don't know if you're if you're trolling me or not, honestly. Ah, expensive store. I think I'm just gonna buy scrolls. And call it a day. Because I can level up her. Got the sexual weapon slot. When people troll Randy, doesn't know who's actually trolling and who isn't. I don't. It's hard to tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then up. I'm gonna go for this. This looks greedy, but I think I can make it happen. I think it works. Guesstimating, but uh, I'm not paying no bandits. We don't. We don't get no tolls. We don't eat no rolls. I made that up. There's a few of us who never troll. I feel like you left a kappa there. Ah, oh, flirt, flirting. <laughs> but you're right. I don't think you troll. It's very, it's very rare that we have somebody who doesn't troll in our chat. So, hard to tell. Who are the trolls? Nobody knows. Okay. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Man, I really wish I had a poet. I really wish I had a poet. All right, I'm just gonna shoot you and kill you. Poet, I think, is by far my favorite unit. It's like it's like my favorite bard in EverQuest. It's just the utility it provides just makes up for the fact that. It's not the highest damage or doesn't heal or whatever. Although, what's strange about the poet is she actually has good damage too. Like, she's so OP. Well, they, huh. They're so smart, they didn't actually go through the trap. Unlike some other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent. To tell the truth, he's starting to get on my knives. Freund Leven style. Okay, um. <laughs> do, 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 do. So you'll bleed and die. And that's all I can do. Place a trap here for no reason. Story jumps are required, yes. Due to pursuit indicator would really help in this game. You lost the run because you misjudged misjudged the required story jump. Yep. Yep. Scooby Dooby Scoob Scooby Dooby Scoob Scooby Scooby Doob Okay, stand there. We're gonna wait one turn so we can get this gold. Yeah, where's our slipstream mod manager so I can add add extender pursuit indicator? God. What is this weird Japanese FTL mod? Rand, lol, kappa. Elite starving bandit, best unit ever. I know. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm starving, but you have really nice armor. Well, I'm elite, so, you know. Not a, not a pushover. God, what do you think this is? All right, everybody's already upgraded except for her, which is kind of crazy. What's up, Nietzsche? You just lost your run, Chacha Lulu? Yikes. Sucks that you can't dive the exit jump, yeah. Your story jump is in the purple fog, you're at the exit. Yeah, then you have lost, Chacha Lulu. You've pretty much lost. Oh, this guy, okay. Ugh, okay. 
Do 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 do. <laughs> One armor, two armor, you do three damage. God, I hate this guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hit both these if I go here, but I'm gonna take that. I hope he attacks this guy. He's probably attacking this guy. Ugh. These Furu Furu Tsubos are really scary. I'm gonna make sure this is the guy that's not getting attacked. You're the truly squishy one. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Please attack. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so five damage. This attack will kill him. I have nobody with armor to absorb this attack. Except you. You. damage. I'm hoping you'll actually hit her. Okay. I'm hoping you'll attack her. She'll take one. Heal for no reason. I'm gonna personally not move him to get this because that I think will get him to attack him. Good. That kills. Let's get that. Get that. Three food. Okay, not bad. We took a bunch of damage that fight, but they have two range damage dealers. It's it's hard to not take damage. He's elite, just starving. Unlike an elite farmer. <laughs> Next, DF, next FTL day, play with Japanese localization. We tried that once. And then we accidentally reset our FTL save, so. Um, sneaky Chester, Sneaky. Is the priest my tankiest unit now? My, no, my tankiest unit is my leader. Second is probably... Well, these two, I guess, are tied for second. Unless you want to count my farmers who actually have more health than these guys have health plus armor, which is kind of interesting. The farmers have so much health. Need to find an illegal arms dealer, that's right. Well, that was nothing, okay. Do archers attack the closest unit? I believe so. I believe that's true. Oh man, farmers, bandits, and priests, oh my. That's like all we've been seeing. Not seeing a single archer, soldier. Who all do we have unlocked? Poets, uh, nobles, royal uh, palace guards, none of these guys. I guess they're all rare, uncommon, uncommon, uh, tier one uncommon, tier two uncommon, tier three uncommon. I think the later you go, the higher, like the later sectors or regions Increases the chances that you find higher tier, or more rare units, or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna heal you twice. I'm gonna leave everybody at minus one health, I think, here. Actually, I should probably max heal. We're going into this story fight. Okay, let's get max health here. This is where we died last time. Let's not be greedy. Feels like a waste of money, but I don't want to greed and die again. Yeah, there are rarities, yeah. No palace guard this run, Kappa. Kind of useless for fighting if that'd be his only function in game. What are you talking about? A poet? Poets are not useless. 
Okay, this guy's scary. Can I one-shot him? He's got a movement of four. Okay. And get everybody out of his range. Did I miss out on buying ammo on that previous fight? If I did, that was a mistake. Store only had food, okay. Yeah, you can reach that far. Three damage, okay. Yeah, the problem is if I beat bait with the leader move here, I think you can just go like this and attack her. So I don't think there's a way to bait into the trap. But I will move her here, I think. Is this a spider wolf bull? Is it Ushioni? Which is, I think, a bull demon or something? All right, I hate to use all this, but I think I need to. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to do this. She can absorb the attack whichever way he goes. Yeah, I thought. Okay. Alright, I'll kill this guy because he is just the strongest one. We can do the pushback combo here. Get blasted. And then two damage kills him, right? Yes, although Farmer can do two damage as well. There. Beautiful. This kills you. You got armor to absorb this guy's attack. You can kill him. Beautiful. Alright, I believe we have a zero damage fight. Get wrecked. We have to use another couple of ammo, though. No. Did we get any back? Okay. Net zero ammo, I'll take that. Hunter goes to one HP. What are you talking about, Chacha Lulu? God. Please don't pack seat me, especially when you're wrong. <laughs> well, that was before you moved your units. Yeah, well, I'm going to move my units, okay? I'm going to move them. All right, 23 scrolls. That is actually exactly enough to level up our hero. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Here it is. This is the fight that killed us last time with this unit, or with this uh, team. All right. So how do we play this so that our hunter just doesn't die? How do we do that? Because when he died last time, he was too close to her, I think. Surprise there's not to use max scrolls for one level button. That would be pretty helpful. I need to spread out. I know that. Bait with leader, spread everyone else out. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. What's his range? His range is five. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four, five. To hit him, okay, his first turn, he will create the wind. So, I can move him here this turn, and then we spread out next turn. This guy will be able to cleanse fire. So I'm not spreading out this turn, but I will spread out next turn is the goal. I need... First of all, I need to get as close as possible because it's going to just blow us all backwards. Okay. So now...
You're immune to mobilize, but you're not immune, immune to back up. Uh, knock back. So. Which direction do we want to knock him? I think I want to knock him back that direction. So if he runs, he runs back there. Problem is, if I do the knockback, that makes him not get baited to attack the leader, because then this guy is closer. So I think... I think I don't knock him back into a trap, I think. Okay, and I can't reach him with these other people. This is the issue, is I can't... I can't... His, his blowback really sucks. This is the turn that'll kill me if I'm not careful. I think what I do is actually move her forward, attack him to knock him back. His attack will probably hit Her and this farmer. And I gotta move this guy somewhere where he wouldn't be in the AoE. Like maybe here. I don't know if this is the best play. This is what I'm going for. I just did the wrong attack. But okay, bleed is actually good. Without knocking him back. That might actually be okay. I think he's going to hit her and you're not in range of this attack. So I think it's going to hit these two and then it's going to start a fire. I don't want you to be in range, but I want you to be in range to clear the fire next. So one, two, three. Basically, I would need to be it's so hard for me to understand what this AoE, how it's going to go. I don't know how it's going to go. So if it goes here, I think it's going to go... One, two, three... F one, two, three, four. And this way, I think. So I believe if I go here, I'm clear from that. We might die here. This is this is what killed us last time. I, I'm trying to avoid it, but it's so hard to tell because this AoE is so stupidly large. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, I think we baited it pretty well. And we're not dead. Can I kill him this turn? Three. I think we can kill him this turn. We want to do our knockback last because our knockback will be into a trap, which is our... Now, here's something I don't know. I know that the vulnerability does not last during the enemy's turn when they walk into a trap because we tested that. Will a trap do extra damage if you knock them into it when they have vulnerable? I guess we're going to test it. I need to heal that guy for sure, so... We're going to test this. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let's do the math here. Overwhelm means an enemy with status effects takes one extra damage. So the trap should do three plus one. So it should be four. Her attack is going to be three. Actually, it should be five. I think this is going to kill him no matter what. So I don't think this is where this will actually be. A yeah, he just dies. 
Four, three, one. I'm not. It's hard to test that because I'm pretty sure we just overkilled him. But GG, we killed the guy that killed us last time. So pretty good. I feel like vulnerable only works with attacks, but that's just from you playing Gloomhaven. You swear a lot of this game seems similar in some ways in the combat to it. What is this, a math class? Yes. It's totally a math class. Alright, I'm gonna take offense. We both have regrets. Alright, well we died at this last time with this group, so I'm I'm happy with that outcome. And I'm glad we healed everybody. I actually took no damage on our main girl. Because overwhelm means they take one... We do extra one damage when they have a status effect. Vulnerable makes them take an extra damage from all attacks. So basically we have, it's basically like they have two vulnerable. So they basically take two extra damage. So I think if I knock somebody into a trap, the trap itself should do five, I think. I think. Problem is, this is doing five. So we're doing 10 damage with that combo, knock back into a trap if there's vulnerable on it. So basically I need to do that to somebody with 12 health to see if they survive with one, which would be the 11 damage. It, it basically is math class, me trying to understand how these things work. Two, three. I think I have four, so it's probably one, two, three, four if I want to do that. Okay. Continue on. If this is a fight, we could take damage, but Huh, <laughs> level one bandit. Um, Is a level one bandit more useful than a level five farmer? I guess the real question is, is a level five bandit more useful than a level five farmer? Same damage. One more move. Two armor, but less health. Man, what I really want is an archer. Um, against the boss, I think the farmer is actually slightly better because of health. So I think I'm not going to take this guy. As much as I like your traps, they're not as useful against the boss, which is the important thing. You take the bandito. All right. I don't think it would have been bad to take him. My, the main reason I didn't is because he's level one, and I'd have to invest scrolls. And if I get a, if I get an archer, or any other good units, I, I'm not going to want to invest more scrolls into the, into the bandit. So that's that was my reasoning there. Because I'm hoping I get a better unit, basically. Holy archers, Batman. Four range. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, well, the good thing is, is we're out of range of the archers for right now. Unless I move forward. So I think I let them come to me. Yeah, so if I do this... Oh, uh, now he can move forward. Now he can shoot that guy, damn it. I just gave him range on that. <sighs> damn. Oh, because I did that, I'm gonna have her... Absorb that attack, then. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So if I move there, I will be in range. So I'm going to do this. I'm trying to take as little damage as possible here. Last time you ignored three gamblers back-to-back -back for a farmer, you've learned your lesson by getting clapped by frog. Oh, the frog boss. Gotcha. Okay. I want to kill the two damage archers if I can. 
And I don't see a good way to do get rid of both. Yeah, I just... I need an archer instead of a freaking farmer. Hey, Rand, are, are my blossoms, wil blossoms wilting right now, or do I have the wind at my back? It's a good question. They are... The wind is at my back at the moment. Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven is a heavy influence on your game. For Oren, oh, nice. You were playing a lot of it when you first started prototyping the game. That's cool to know. Let's use you to kill this guy. You should absorb his shot, actually. If I... Yeah, okay. She's gonna absorb two archer shots. She's got two armor, and they both do one. One, two, three, four. Mm, that guy might attack her if, she, if I move her there. But killing this one is more important, so I'm gonna take that chance. I'm going to hope he attacks that one. But I don't know if that's going to be the case. Now he might attack him. That's two armor. Okay, okay. I think we I think we're in good shape here. Okay, there. I think relic only adds plus one damage to party members direct damage to trap will do four. You think so, Vancho? Well, I'd like to test it. Damn, that's not who I was hoping to attack. But she does have 12 health, so... She does have 12. Alright, so the bleed will kill you. She'll actually take a hit from him. Unless he goes and attacks... him, but I don't know if he will or not. Is this an ambush? No, it's not an ambush. Okay. Um, okay. I can get all the gold if I... wait another turn. So let's do that. Uh, you did have a feeling about it. It's your second favorite board game. Definitely has some great concepts. Oh, this is ba okay. So that's a board game. Okay. Gloomhaven's a board game. That's cool. I keep healing like like that's gonna actually heal somebody. Okay. All right. I do want to test that. It's hard. It's hard to test it because the combo. What what, what Vancho was talking about is what I was talking about with the trap. The combo of laying a trap down and knocking them into it with this knockback is so much just straight damage that it's... If what I think happens, happens, that trap does 5 when they've got vulnerable, and this does 5 when they have vulnerable, that's, that's 10. Add in the one that the vulnerable applies... That's 11 damage overall, so I need an enemy with 12 health to even test it. To see if... Well, 11 or 12. Because 11, if they die, then my calculations would be right. If they don't die at 11, then... Uh, then the vulnerable doesn't apply to the trap, I think. Gloomhaven has recently been converted to PC. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh... Court rank is irrevel ir irrelevant now. Irrelevant now. Uh, intercept the man with the rice. All right, give him some food. We got plenty. All right, we gave him we, free food for nothing. Great. Can non-hero units do knockback? I think the noble guard can. I think. Um, half buried shimmering thing in the earth spends a moment digging. Soon frees a weapon with a worn inscription. Still serviceable. Memory of his former owner, I would guess that gives us key, but let's see what the weapon is. Free weapon. Three damage AoE thing, huh? Um, uses key. Probably won't use that, honestly. 
You can't win Spirit Island. You love Betrayal at House on the Hill. I don't know what those two things are. Might be maybe more board games y'all are talking about. Oh, there's the Hunk You. Isn't there a... I think there's an achievement for that weapon. Hold on a second. Just gotta kill two people with the Hunk You. Hank, hank You. Hunk You. Hit three enemies with a single Hunk You attack. We'll unlock another weapon. Three enemies at once, huh? I wonder if I sh should try to make that happen. Those are board... That's board game talk. Okay. All right. Talking about board games. Gotcha. Gambler. All right. We definitely need to get a gambler. Who do we replace for a gambler? Farmer or... Um, trapper guy. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Do you like gambler straight upgrade from farmer? I feel like he might be straight upgrade for both. But until we get to the boss, I feel like there's still some value in the trapper. So yeah, let's get rid of a farmer. I mean, it might be worth getting two gamblers, honestly. Two gamblers instead of two farmers. That might be the play. It's a lot more damage, a lot more tankiness. How much armor do they have total? Four armor. Uh, four armor, three health is overall less health than they have, but... Do I think I'll be able to get enough scrolls to upgrade them both is the question. I mean, they... They come with as much damage with potential for more than the farmer has. Same amount of movement. They don't get any extra movement. I'm going to buy both gamblers here. I'm going to gamble on some gamblers. I'm going to sell that. I could buy some ammo here. Well, there's one. I'll buy the one ammo. I feel like I should try to go for unlocking things, so... As much as this uses more ammo, I'm gonna do this because if I hit, if I have the opportunity to hit three units at a time, we unlock something. I think it's another weapon that we unlock, so. Okay, we'll go with that. You get more stuff per fight in the final islands. Yeah, the, the dude named Palace Guard, I think does do a knockback. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, something like that. To battle. Oh, we can immediately do it. Can I immediately do it? Oh my gosh. Unlock. Beautiful. <laughs> Salvo. So we got bombs unlocked. Whoo, five damage. AoE for seven. Thing. Okay, well that was awesome that we immediately get that. Um, two damage. This guy does two. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh my god, there's so many range dudes here. Okay. I should have applied vulnerable before I did that. Should have applied vulnerable. So you do two damage. If I apply vulnerable, you'll do four. So that will kill this guy. And I basically need you need you to tank, lady. Okay, I'm gonna move you there. She's my tankiest. So if I do this, this. I should kill this guy. Oh, well, unless you do double damage, then it will really kill that guy. Okay. All 
Alright, you can tank for that guy since you have the two armor and they do just one damage piece. Oh, you can actually attack him. I forgot sometimes, I forget sometimes you can actually attack. Three. Miss. Nice. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. You do two damage, you do two damage, but we can go ahead and kill you. He gets his eight. His, oh, that just kills you anyway. Okay, nice. And we'll just do a little bit of damage, but not actually finish you yet so we can get all the gold. All right, good fight. I think we take no damage here. Very, very nice. Six. Well, I am doing good about using my ammo. Doing good, doing well. Doing a good job using up my ammo. Just don't want to use it all up. Um, okay, I'm wondering if I should take a break now. Because we have um, a whole two more regions, I think, before we win. These runs are just a little too long for me to put nice little two-hour sections like I can usually for FTL. So I think before I move on, I am going to stand up, stretch, use the restroom, take my first break of the day. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the Wind of Wilted Blossoms. It's a lot of fun, this game. Playing normal and doing pretty well. So let's hope we can continue this run and get a win here. But quick six-second with the bads. We come back. We will see if we can win this run. Y'all rock. See you in just a bit, my friends.